Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon. In the last episode we witnessed Captain Cuttlefish just being completely kidnapped, or squidnapped. He's an old man so he's, I'm just gonna say squidnapped because it's, it's kind of awkward to say he's kidnapped, but even though he's old really. But anyway, so in, in this episode we're going, or in this, eh, in this episode we're going to start World 4 and Pretty much rescue him, I guess. That's just pretty much it. It's just rescue him while trying to stop the Octarian threat and all of that and all of that special jazz. So let's get right straight to it. I'm just I'm just pretty much going out of order. Just and I don't really care really. It's, we're just going through this levels anyway, so uh Oh, for a split second, I thought the music was sounded creepy, and I was like, okay. Like, I hear some sort of, like, carnival music, so I'm just thinking, like, like, is that a creepy level? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get over here. That thing. Uh, where could, now, so, I'm gonna spend most, like, probably a lot of episodes just wondering where the, uh, sunken scrolls are. I did not mean to do that. My control, I have a, my, my controls for the, um, we, for in the gamepad is just a little weird. Alright. It's like, is it over here? Oh, it's in armor. Do, uh, do I dare make that jump? If I really weak, um, gamepad control. It may seem like I just jump. I just completely missed my jump, but it's just the gamepad is the gamepad is acting a little weird. It's been doing that since the uh, since Mario and Sonic at the uh, real 2020 Olympic Games and Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Okay. All right. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a little awkward. I, don't, I think I don't, the life of the Wii U has just affected the 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 gamepad. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And nor do I really care, really. I, this is, the Wii U is pr well, almost a decade old. And, well, it will be a, d a decade old in like two years. But when, by the time I'm recording this, so it's, the video is going to be posted in 2021. There we go. Did I hear the octopus? Could have sworn it did. Uh, where was he? Let me think, let's see where the surrounding area. Oh boy. Come on, gamepad, just stop messing around. Where is said shrunken scroll? Shrunk, sh shrunken, sh shrunken scroll. There we go. Uh, make it, okay, so, so I'm mean, gonna be right back. Alright, interruptions. The interruptions are out of my face, and let's just continue on. Is that, oh, crap. I hate when they, I hate when my camera just freaking. I swear I had it perfectly positioned. Ah. I hate this. I'll be gladly. If, I'll be glad to always just back to, go right back to Splatoon 2. I hate using the gamepad to control. <laughs> I ever used the pro the pro controller. I I don't think it, and I don't think you can use the pro controller um, in the first game unless you're in mo uh, no. I don't think you can actually use the I don't think you can use the pro controller ever in Splatoon One. Now that I think about it, uh, yeah, I'm 
yeah, I was gonna safely say that. You can't use the Pro Controller in Splatoon 1. I... It's like the game mainly fo wants you to focus on using the gamepad, so... Uh... I wanna find the... I really wanna find that strong... that sunken scroll. Is it behind there? Nah, wait. Nah, it isn't. Okay. Give Alright. Alright, so let's... Can I... I don't want to... I like having the shield. I like having the shield. In, in Splatoon 2. It's like... I think it'll make it a lot easier. It actually... I don't think it's... It does make it a lot easier. There we go, just kill that person. Er, person. Octarian. There's a key. Okay. I know it may sound like my, uh, com that I know, I know it sounds like my commentary is just a little bit sluggish. But like I said, I'm all by, pretty much all by, doing this all by myself, so. Uh, most, of the time, most of the time I just figure out, um, or most of the time I just don't know what, what to say. So. If, if, if I ever do do playthroughs by myself, I would do I probably do them live so I can communicate with chat. But my problem, well, my problem is I'm pretty much too lazy to uh, to go live and oh Octari oh Octolins. okay wait eh uh, die what is this okay sunken scroll. I think I missed that. Yeah, I missed the sunken scroll. The levels are too short, and I'm pretty much f focused on getting, completing the level, and I just completely forgot all about the sunken scroll. Well, this is somewhere over here. Uh. I'm like seven minutes into this recording, or, or about almost eight minutes into this recording already, and oh, I haven't even, even first finished the first level. Okay, how do you get it? Okay, hold on. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get the sunken scroll in a different video. Or, well, off camera, and then. Uh, yeah. Just get the, just get the, get the, uh, get it off camera. Also, the, uh, text box for the camera just looks a little weird. It's just, it's just all blur. Anyway. Yeah, so here we got Agent 1 and Agent 2. So, and I just realized Agent 2 is wearing a face mask. Ugh. If I don't do female voices, so it's gonna be awkward for me. Oh wait, it's a play. Th oh wait, you can't, yeah, you guys can't read it. Shit. Well, age, well then, is he? So pretty much, Agent One. Um. What, what oh yeah, Agent One saying, like, "Hello, can you hear me?" And Marie, then uh, Agent Two. Yeah, I was, yeah, I know. What everyone says everyone knows Kelly Marie are pretty much the, the Agent One, One and Two. So okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna. I'm still gonna refer them to Agent One, and Agent Two, because their identity's not revealed yet. Anyway, Agent Two is like okay, uh, hold it upside down. Then we got okay, and then Agent Agent One reporting in. Okay, then 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 this is where we are right now. That's a rough, that's my lazy, that's my, like, rough summary of, of what I just passed through. Anyway, or you can just, oh, wait, you still can't read it, never mind. My commentary is weird. Agent 2, Agent 2 also reporting in. We've got an SOS from Captain Cuttlefish. Are you Agent 8? Don't worry, we're your new support team. 
Yep, we're taking over for the captain. Well, we're gonna try. But we're gonna but we've gotta hurry, or the captain is as good as sushi. Let's roll Agent 8 3. Or Agent 8. I almost said Agent 8. Oh my god. Anyway, let's roll Agent 3. Oh, my brain's fried. I know my I know it's just dumb. I know it. Anyway. Oh I could just use the just jump all the way over to the next stage. So I don't have to like waste time just traveling through it or traveling around the hub world just to find levels. Auto sniper? Oh, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, you can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. I know you may, it may look like it, but I'm too fast for you. Nah, okay. Oh, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> Alright, this kind of looks like, uh,. The, well, at least the floor kind of looks like cat or cat camp triggerfish. There we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably up there. These. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Down there. No. Okay. Oh wait! Oh, it's probably down there. Yeah, it's down there. It's... There we go. Now we can just focus on cleaning the level. Like I said, I'm just like um, any other episode that I missed the uh, the uh, sunken scroll, and I don't have to do that off camera. And then I'll and at the next video, I'll, I'll uh, be back and show you guys. Uh, to show you guys the this, this scroll that I that. so just to give you the idea of for those of you who have never played Splatoon One, those to get the, the idea of uh, what the story is. All right, how am I supposed? Do I have to jump though to get to the? Yeah, I do. With this awkward control and the sniper, this is gonna be. And there's water there. Oh, goody. Yeah, I'm dead. Wait, there's no water. <laughs> okay. It kind of looked like water from my from my vision, right? Oh, oh whatever. Get, die. Get up. Okay. Yeah, these levels are pretty short in Splatoon 1. Yeah, there's the longer Splatoon 2. Not uh, the Oct uh, I don't know about the Octo Expansion. Are, are they are are they uh shorter than Octo Expansion or I know they're tet I know they're the um Octo Expansion is mission base. Uh sometimes they're long, sometimes they're not. Yeah, when I think of it, the Octo Expansion, I just think of uh, Team Chaotix um, mission or, or mission or Team Chaotic eh, Team Cha Chaotic gameplay from Sonic Heroes. Oh god, that's pretty much why this pretty much sums up uh, Octo Expansion for me. It's just Sonic Heroes um, Chaotix gameplay. Anyway. Oh, did I receive the final checkpoint? I don't think I did. Ah, yeah, whatever. Alright, so the second level is done for uh, this episode. Alrighty. What we got here? Okay. These two cousins from Calamari County won Inkopolis' first annual Youth Folk Scene Contest. 
Their remarkable voices earned them a standing ovation from all present and cat catap cat catapulated cat catapulted excuse me and it catapulted them into the spotlight. So this is what Kelly and Marie looks like at when they're small. Uh, okay. Nice. All right, next one. Spin to win. Spin to win, huh? Whoa. Okay, no. That's okay. Not, not that type. Not that type of spin. Hey. No shit, Marie. Tell me to go up, even though I know that I can go up. Just, just like the so Sonic Boom, right? pretty much. Just, that's just pointing out the complete obvious, and I, uh, and I was too late. Can I? Can I? Where's the, where's the switch? Oh, there it is. There we go. Whoo! I don't go back to there anyway. See, this is why I want the shield. Because it's too. Because this, this is exactly why the shield should, shield should be a thing, or shield not shield. Like X, like an extra set of armor or something like that. Default armor. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, Dying in like one hit or something. Like if it like if that if your a suit breaks, no, then you can run around like an idiot and wait and, and wait for it to recharge. That's why that's that's what that's what I like about it. And they both and all three of them got stuck right. Well, Oh wait, the sunk scroll. Um, that's the armor. Maybe it's down there or up there. Uh, or not. Oh whatever. Uh, how did your calendar break? in the first place. I know they explained it, I did it. Like, I probably never got into that part. Like... Eh. Just rambling on. Where's the, uh, switch? Oh, right there. Some, it may sound like very quiet most of the time. This is probably just because I have nothing to say. Oh, can I ink up there? No, okay. Oh, great. Why does it have, why does it have to be at the far right? I don't know. Alright, I think... Me to think that the sunken scroll is somewhere around here. N not because it has it's water, but it's. Eh. I just have that feeling. Okay. Just need to blast this fan right, right there. 
Alright. Nope, it's not, nope, it's not enough. Not enough, not enough, not enough. Okay. So, no, it's not, no. Okay, it's not right there. I don't know if I said this before, but the, but the, but the story in Splatoon 1 is a lot, um, it's a lot better, it's a lot more better, it's a little, lot better than, than, um, the original, the original game. I don't know, that's just my opinion. There we go. Alright, so now we got that stuck in a scroll, we can just, we can just beat the level. Can I just, okay. Oh, oxlings. Fun. Where are they? Oh man, I hope I can just attack from above. Do people actually like the ink armor? Like, I never liked it. It's just, I just... I'm not the type of person who, who is just focused on defense. Me, I just, I'm just, I'm basically, uh, basically, I'm just basically offense. I just YOLO. That's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much me. Splatoon, Smash Brothers, I don't really, def I rarely defend, I just YOLO. Anyway, before the Great Turf War, there are amical relations between the Inklings and the Octarians. Excuse me. They couldn't uh, have dreamed that rise and sea levels would force them to battle fiercely over them remaining territory. Alright. So we beat three levels so far. Oh. Okay, we're at the, uh, this is the Octocarp, uh, the octocopter levels, or what is one of them? Snippy snaps. Cuttlefish already told we how to do that, Marie. Yeesh. All right, so. Through this. The sunken, the, the sunken scroll should be a lot easier to um, to find type in levels like this. Since, since you're not going from launch launch pad to launch pad, and because pretty much pretty much you can just look around the entire area completely and um, and see uh, you know where see the location or, or the hidden areas of the map. And if you and if you miss the uh, if, you, if if you reach the end of the map, you can just go back and see like where it's at. That's what that's what I like about some some of these some, some of these levels. Excuse me. I'm thinking it's over here. Also, the arc, yeah, the arc, the the, hey, the octoling battles are a lot of fun to me. It kind of feels like you're in an actual tour four match against an NPC, of course, but still kind of close. But instead of, but instead, it's a turf war. It's like an elimination turf war. You know, like where the, if you were to kill the octolings, you know, then. They don't respond, and, and but for you, if it's if you die like three times, you know, you're not. Yeah, you, you get that. But we get, I get that. But. but it's not. They say that loud, and it's not. It is not. It's not like to afford at all. You're just collecting the zapfish, and that's 
and that's pretty much all it is. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, like, so, I'm like talking like a, like a, people don't even play this game before. Matter of fact, I don't think any, I don't think much to be anybody uh, plays the, the first Splatoon game. They just start, they start with the second game and then just pretty much uh, continue on with the first. Is that a, oh, oh yeah, I just realized something. Is this a Octur Is this a what stage is it? What stage am I thinking of? Is it from Mario Kart? Urgent Underpass? Yeah, I think it's Urgent Underpass. I just recognized the, uh, the, I just recognized that part, that one part. Like, Alright, anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to see it over here. I'm going in circles. Yeah, I'm trying to find the sunken scroll, but the game's like, nah. We're just gonna make you go around in circles and. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up. Oh, yeah. Alright. The completionist in me wants to get this done. No, it's not, nothing over there. I am not going for after a launch pad right now. So you got a. Oh, I already have the scroll. I'd, I'd never realize that. Alright. What did I find that? I don't remember finding that. Come here. Come here, come here you idiot. Come here. Come here. Die. There we go. And then the pool drains. And then we can get the sapfish. I think I have the time to do one more level. What is this? It looks like the pro propagator, I can't pronounce that, of that shoe shop. What could have, or could there have been an agent, a creature that consumed prawns of, as food? A terrifying thought indeed. I wonder if it's uh, Crossy Sean, like Crossy Sean, that's going to be in Splatoon 2. I wonder if they hinted that here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh. Just, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my gear. I think I've said that in the last episode that I'm gonna do. I was gonna do that right away, but I never did it. So let me upgrade my hero shot twice. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do is upgrade it twice. And I'll, and then I'll upgrade my ink tank uh, twice. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade my splat bomb. Or what is what are seekers? What 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 it what is it? Uh, uh, switch with switch bombs with the plus button. Okay. Okay, what, what, what are Seekers? I don't think I've ever witnessed them before. Hold on.
Oh, they're pretty much uh, the auto bombs. Like the combination between curling bombs and and seeker or and uh, auto bombs. Okay, I get it. Okay. Oh no. That looks like a little shark. bombs here. I know what those weapons, I know what those are. Cool. I actually, I actually like that weapon. I don't see why everybody likes curling bombs. Except that, no, you know, the only bad thing about curling bombs is that you have to hold them to, to uh, determine of how fast and and how slow you want to the curling bomb to go. That's that's kinda annoying to me. I like I like the option just you know like just throw the bomb and then just go chase after it. Like no matter like how how long you hold it and and on what or what you know. you just gotta you just gotta if you wanna get a perfect aim at this you just gotta hold on to it. And then go frap, pretty much go fast right, when you let go. I like that. I like that. Anyway, that would do it for this episode of Splatoon. Uh, next time we'll be able to finish Road 4 and get started on Road 5. The final world, the, or aka the final world of the game. What happens if I jump down? So, oh, okay. Anyway, again, th I get, uh, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.